sport in my family is pretty big. My dad played professional AFL Aussie Rules. My brother ended up playing Aussie Rules too and I wanted to be just like my, my big brother and my dad and my mum always said we have four kids and she knew which two would be the sporty two, me and my brother. She said once you know we could pick up a ball you could just tell that our hand-eye coordination and our skill was different to other kids. I played with the boys till I was 12 and it's a pretty contact sport so came home one day with a bit of a, a black eye and a blood lip and it was no harm to me, it was just part of the game and my dad got a little bit protective and said it's time, she's out of there and they couldn't sit on the sideline anymore and watch me get roughed up. That decision devastated Kerr, but she took all the tools she learned from the AFL and transformed herself into a player the game of world football has rarely seen. Sam Kerr is that girl that you never know exactly what she's going to do on the field. She's so unpredictable. She's strong. I mean, she can push you off the ball, and she's quick and agile. You have some players that kind of specialize in back to goal. You have some players that specialize in getting in behind. She's one of those few forwards that can do all these different things, and so it makes it very hard to defend. Sometimes you get a more one-dimensional player and you can kind of negate the strongest part of their game, whether they're you know, a very um, cerebral player, tactical or technical or very athletic. Whereas when you have someone like Sam who possesses everything, if you shut down one thing, she's just gonna beat you at another. To others, Sam Kerr may seem to be the most complete player in the world. To Kerr, she's not even close. People might think it's crazy, but I still don't think my finishing is up to par. You know, I scored 17 goals last year, but I had way more shots than that. I always seem to finish those goals that no one thinks I can finish and miss the ones that are the easy ones. But I feel like the simple things is where I need to perfect my game. I've got so much more to accomplish in, in football. I still haven't accomplished half of, not even a quarter, I haven't even touched the surface. And I've won the MVP of the NWSL. I still haven't won this thing, but you know, I'd give in all my personal awards for some championships. It's very rare that someone has an MVP season or, you know, wins player of the year when their team's bottom of the ladder. Very rare. So I, I want to win, want to win championships, I want to win World Cups, I want to win Olympics. From then, if, you know, I never win a personal award again, I'll be happy if I win one of those. <laughs>